we are gathered together uh, to make this a special day for both you, Larry, and Christina. And it's special not because of uh, flowers or all the pomp and circumstance that sometimes goes along with it, it's special because you both are here together. And you have those that matter most to you here as well, your family members. And so that's why we're here today, to join you two in marriage. And of course, you all probably know their story. Mm -hmm. uh, they saw each other first at work, and Larry impressed her because he was so nice and sweet, and Christina <laughs> tracked him down. And, uh, <laughs> uh, they began with simple waves here and there, and just the relationship began in conversation, and the thing that impressed me most is that they both desired that God be glorified in their relationship. And so, here we are. So then, you few Larry and Christina have freely and deliberately chosen each other as partners for life. Would you please join right hand? <laughs> are you okay? I did it. Okay. All right. She did that without doing the play. You know, so that's good. Okay. Uh, Larry, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife? Will you love her, honor, and keep her in sickness and in health, in poverty as in wealth? Keep thee only unto her so long as you both shall live. Do you so promise? Are you? Christina, will you have this man to be your wedded husband? Will you love him, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health, in poverty as in wealth? And forsaking all others, keep thee only unto him so long as you both shall live. Do you so promise? I promise. So, Larry. Will you repeat these vows to your bride, bride, please? I, Larry, take thee, Christine. I, Larry, take thee, Christine. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer or poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and health. To love and cherish. To love and cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Christina. Will you repeat these words to your groom? I, Christina, love thee. Or, I, Christina, take thee, Larry. I, Christina, take thee, Larry. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For wrong. better, for worse. For better, or for worse. For richer or poor. For richer or poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love, cherish, and obey. To oh, love. Oh, let me just get that open part out of there. <laughs> <laughs> to love, cherish, and obey. <laughs> Till death do us part. Till death do us part. May I have the rings, please? <laughs> the symbolism of a ring is well known. Um, the, the circle is unending, it's eternal, all those things. But it is a symbol of love. The love that they have for each other is far greater and is far more valuable than any ring. And so, um, would you please take this ring and place it on the third finger of his left hand? And by doing so, this will, you'll wear it as a symbol of your love for her. Would you take this ring and place it on the third finger of her left hand? And Christine will, will wear it as a symbol. No, not next one. There we go. There we go. Let's have a word of prayer, okay? Father, we love you, and we're grateful for this ceremony. We're grateful for what it means to you. Uh, through the ages, uh, couples have gathered together with family and friends to share each other's vows. And today, we do the same. And we do it with reverence, with uh, certainly with uh, love for each other. And we ask, Lord, that you please would bless this couple. May you honor this union. Would you cause them to love each other and serve you together? And Lord, we pray that you please bless this union. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. For as much as you, John, and you, Christine, have pledged your love to each other in the presence of our God, your family members, by the power vested in me in the state of Tennessee, as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, most importantly,
your Sunday school teacher. <laughs> I now pronounce you as husband and wife. You can kiss your bride. Let's give him a hand. No. Let God join together. I introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Larry Euler. Right, give him a hand, all right? <laughs>